Okay, it is early, it is planting season, so it is time to get going. It is Friday, October 16th. We are in the middle of planting season, just hardcore planting season. Lori and I already have the morning chores done because we've got a lot of trees we wanna to plant today. Let me give you guys a quick shot of the sunrise. Beautiful morning, it's a little eerie. There is obviously a pretty significant fire up north. I'm hoping everybody's okay. Didn't get a chance to research that last night, mainly because Lori and I are buying trees. <laughs> so we spent some time last night online buying a bunch more trees, some bare root trees that should be delivered here over the next couple months. We've got a few more from Greg Peterson in the Urban Farm Fruit Tree Program and we found another online nursery that had some varieties that we couldn't get from him. So uh, we've got a lot going on today. We're gonna take you guys all along with. First things up is my sweetheart. <laughs> so what do we have first thing this morning? Um, we are going to plant some apple trees. Ooh, apple trees. It's our first apple trees on this farm. It is, and we have six of them. And we have six. So mm -hmm. we're gonna get going. We're gonna do like, whole, we're gonna try to get the whole rings done. Yes. We need to get supplies. Yeah. I wanna cut some greens for the chickens real quick too. Oh, sorry. We'll cut some greens for the chickens first. <laughs> I also got a fig tree yesterday from Reed. This is, we're calling it an RSI white fig tree because we don't know the exact variety, but it's his, so we're gonna plant it because we got space. First set of apple trees we're gonna be getting in the ground this morning are gonna be the Dorsets right up front here and the Annas right behind. We still have additional one, apple trees to go in. This whole section here is actually gonna be palm fruit. So your different types of apples, pears, that kind of thing. And then it's gonna end with figs in the back. So we finally have something right up front. You'll see us using the auger to dig the holes. We're gonna start out with that, get the trees in the ground, get some vitamin B1 and some fish emulsion on them right away. So we're gonna do that first. Then we'll come back behind, get the, um, all of the uh, berms and swales dug and that kind of thing. So Lori and I are gonna go ahead and get to it.
we've got that done. You can see Lori's uh, watering these in real heavy. And there you go, it was a good shot back there as well. Totally changes the landscape when you get trees in, even though these are not grown up yet, um, but it totally changes the way everything here looks. So that took us a few hours, but we've got our first apple trees in the ground. Lori and I are excited. Uh, looks really good. So what we're gonna do is we need to get the fig in and we need to eat lunch. So uh, I think we're gonna probably start the fig, get it in the ground, and then grab something to eat and then finish the fig, at least. That's my plan. We've got our RSI white fig. So Reed, thank you for that fig. That actually wraps up our fig area right here. Well, it wraps up the initial fig area <laughs> before the expansion. So we've got that in. Now, we still have more planting to do, to do today, but Lori and I are exhausted and we are extremely hungry. So we're gonna take a break, uh, grab something to eat, and then come back for afternoon planting time. Okay, so we're actually over here on the Western Orchard. You'll see down on the ground behind me, that is another plum apricot hybrid, and actually it is the pollinator for the tree right next to it that we planted yesterday, which is the peach apricot plum hybrid. <laughs> so, and then actually that needs to be pollinated by the Santa Rosa, which is right over there, which we will also be planting here today with you guys. So you guys have seen this, we're gonna go ahead and get to it. wanted to stop real quick. One of the things we talked about, I think it was yesterday, in fact it was, it was that bay laurel and the fact that they're buried way too deep at the nursery. Finding very consistently that is not the case with Reed's trees. Obviously that doesn't surprise me. The guy knows what he's doing, but as Lori slides in, you'll see the root crown on this tree, there was a very little potting soil and you can see the root crown right here. In fact, there's a root. So, and this was buried right there, just above it. So that is basically perfect. Now, we're still gonna be a little bit higher than ground level when we place this tree today, but you can see it's gonna be off to a good start. So wanted to point that out real quick. Lori and I, it's getting hot. We wanna go ahead and get these trees knocked out. That would be the plum cot, so the plum apricot hybrid. And over here, this way, if you can see it back there, that would be our Santa Rosa. So got that in there. The Santa Rosa, by the way, is a fantastic pollinator. And that's the, one of the main reasons, but it's an amazing plum as well. Grew up on those in Southern California. Okay, so Lori and I are exhausted. It's getting warm and I think it's about time to call it. I wanna make sure I can get this video edited for you guys, get it up there as we take you along with us this week, and plant, plant, plant. So just wanna thank you for joining us today. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. Questions or comments in the comment section down below. Instagram and Facebook, you guys know that stuff. In our Amazon shop, I'll leave a link down in the description. Free, painless way to help support the channel. 
Don't forget HFL, our Healthy Farm Living channel as well. So just want to thank you for joining us today and remind you, if we can farm on the edge of nowhere, so can you. 12 apple trees? <laughs> 15. Is it 12? 15. It's 15? Dorset, Anna, Tropic Sweet. Einsheimer. Einsheimer. Oh, that's right, we got all those fall ones too. <laughs> 15.